Well, the Virginia Senate has approved wide-ranging police reform legislation. Among the changes, banning the use of chokeholds and restricting no-knock search warrants. The legislation includes many of the measures protesters nationwide have called for since the death of George Floyd. Some Republicans cast the bill as a disaster for police officers that would empower criminals. Democrats hail it as a landmark achievement they say preserves public safety. Among the more controversial aspects of the reform bill, qualified immunity. Essentially, it's a legal defense that often prevents officers from facing civil lawsuits. Yesterday, a state Senate committee killed a proposal to eliminate it completely. Law enforcement have called ending it the biggest threat to their profession. That was the topic of a news conference in Virginia Beach today, and 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver shares local officers' concerns. Virginia Beach Mayor Bobby Dyer was just one of several local elected officials that came to be a part of the press conference this morning to say they stand with law enforcement when it comes to qualified immunity. Across America, protesters have called for more law enforcement accountability since the death of George Floyd. The Senate has approved police reform legislation on a range of different tactics, from chokeholds to no-knock search warrants. One bill that almost got approved was eliminating qualified immunity for police officers, which caused leaders in Virginia Beach to take a stand this morning. The actions of the General Assembly are a backdoor to defund the police, and we cannot accept this. Delegate Jason Miares was also at the press conference. He says in his opinion, what he's seen in the General Assembly is the most anti-police agenda ever. He says the bill makes officers' jobs more dangerous and difficult. It says if I'm a police officer chasing an armed robber suspect in a high-speed chase and I'm going one mile over the speed limit and I get an accident, I could be personally sued and lose my home and my life savings. Virginia Beach Sheriff Ken Stolle says the attempt to abolish qualified immunity was an attack on law enforcement. He referred to how the community was thankful to police officers for their response during the Virginia Beach mass shooting. But now he believes there's a different tone. A year and a half ago or less than a year and a half ago, we were heroes. What the hell has changed in the last year and a half? You know, what, what's happened in Virginia in the last year and a half to make us villains now? You know, nothing's happened in Virginia Beach that I'm aware of. And that has happened in, 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 in Richmond or other places that I'm aware of, but we're villains now. Mayor Bobby Dyer says although that bill got shot down, he still wanted to have the press conference this morning because he does not believe this is the last time we're going to see something involving qualified immunity with law enforcement. I'm Aisha Tolliver in Virginia Beach, 10 on your side.